once again become more of an option for travel if there are any planes left to fly that is. And so in this virtually rig, what will air travel look like in the age of COVID-19 and will it ever be the same again? Let's get virtual! So you've arrived at the airport, probably hours earlier than normal, for temperature checks, bringing the results of a COVID test, or even to get swabbed. And that's all before you even get through security. But what about your luggage? You might get to carry on larger amounts of liquids, as you'll definitely be using more sanitizer, especially if it's an international trip. When you reach the gate, you won't be allowed to stand in groups. Boarding will be slow in order to keep a healthy distance, which is a bit odd as you'll all be jammed together on the plane anyway. Some airlines are looking at keeping the middle seat clear, but what about the person sat less than three feet in front of you? Even less if they recline. The last three rows might also be reserved as a quarantine area for emergencies. Less seats means less numbers, which maybe means higher prices and higher insurance, just in case you get infected or infect someone else. You'll get less of what you pay for, too. Maybe you'll even have to provide food yourself to limit contact with the crew. To counter the cost, airlines might offer free masks, gloves, sanitizer, or fancier air filtration than the competition. Heck, they might even have toilet paper. But according to studies, just 12% of Americans take nearly two-thirds of all flights. So flying will still be something those with money will pay for, especially if they can afford a pricey new isolation class, otherwise known as first class. Either way, you'll likely see more of your fellow passengers wearing masks. In Canada, it's required on all flights. There'll be mask shaming too if you don't have one, illness shaming if you have a sniffle, even if it's an allergy, and then flight shaming by environmentalists who believe that by 2050, air travel could account for a quarter of emissions worldwide. And the MVP? Well, that's most likely to be your good old-fashioned travel agent who'll help you get out of a jam and rebook you when a lockdown suddenly interrupts your flight plans. And what will a world be like with less people traveling? More introspective? More nationalistic or more respectful and more grateful that the little we thought we had was actually a whole lot more.